Welcome back to week 18 of the Quake Pro League. Lethal, stop at you. I'm trying to do you, the you. throwback. <laughs> Welcome back to week 18 of the Quake Pro League. I am 40 Lines, joined by Lethal. We're going to get into our third set of the day, Sirius versus Strong Sage. Lethal, two great players. Also, probably fighting for position. I don't know. Chat's telling me that no one's getting top eight anymore. I don't know what to believe. I can't do math. You tell me. <laughs> well, I think everyone's math is bad here, isn't it? So I do believe because Dramas went zero and three, if uh, Sirius does, sorry, not Sirius, if um, Strong Sage does win one map, he should secure a spot in the top eight. But of course, we could go through that at the end anyway, because with the zero and three now from Dramas, it means that Avic and Dramas have the same amount of points. If Strong Sage also goes zero and three, then all three of them won the same amount of points. The only problem is, is that they've all beaten each other, so it doesn't go by head to head either. So we'll, we'll look a little bit more in depth later on. But at least for Strong Sage now, he's got a bit of leeway here to at least secure that spot in the top eight. And I think a lot of people may say he could even take the series. So it depends on how Sirius is going to perform this time round. And as you can see from the previous results, a lot of map wins off some of the top dogs here in the Quake Pro League. Some notable ones, as you can see, uh, taking down uh, Tox. Razy, Razy being the biggest one and Dramas earlier on in the season. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, not bad for a rookie year as this could be potential play for top eight position. So you can't really be bad at it. Some wins, some losses, some good, some bad. Overall, not too shabby, I would say. But again, I have no idea. I was never good at chemistry, so I don't know how the leaderboards are going to shake out. So it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really matter, but... Uh, a strong performance in terms of rookie season for Strong Sage. Again, some minor bumps in the road, but that's kind of how you grow into the league. We've seen players come into this league and then mature and get better over time for the first season. Not too bad. Series, he's not really a rookie per se, but it's his rookie year and he's doing okay. Uh, a first official year in the league, not too bad. Mechanics off the charts. Absolute monster. And uh, I don't really know. I mean, as you see here, same kind of thing. Lots of wins, lots of losses, dropping some gains against some of the more heavy hitters. But overall, I don't think it's anything to be too mad about, especially for your first year in the Quake Pro League. What do you think, Lethal? No, he's uh, put on a stellar performance. Look at the very beginning as well, taking down Nosfer, Saigu, Maxter, and Huron back-to-back. -back. It was a formidable start. He One stage, he was going 6-2, and two, but the only reason why he had a few losses in a row, of course, you've got the likes of Zen, Kilsen, Razi, Rafa, Wenger, you know, perfectly understandable, and it's uh, been a tough road. He's uh, able to take down a couple of killers along the way, but, of course... For Sirius, even though he's a little bit further down the line in terms of points, he does have the same match scoreline as, as uh, everyone else is currently going 7-7. Seven and seven. Yeah, I think what Dan might say, the creatine cowboy, is that when he does lose, he loses big. A lot of 3-0s, which are, or 0 and 3s rather, which are unfortunate and something to note. But, I mean, this is the last set of the season in terms of regulation. You want to do your best. You're going up against another newcomer to the league. This is kind of where you could put your stamp on it and end your season well. Let's take a look at the pick bands and see exactly what we have in store between these two players. I'm assuming maybe not a keel. Great. Clutch in Anarchy on Veil, vale, <laughs> Strog and Scale on Molten, and a little bit of Athena and Doom on Awoken. Lethal, what do you think about what we have in store between these two players? Uh, Sirius playing the clutch. That's going to be a interesting one. He's not known for being a clutch player, but I kind of feel like how Sirius plays in terms of his play style overall and how he could perform just abusing that shield and just basically catch him off guard and playing with that defensive style and being able to catch him with the shield is going to be very important. And of course, the aim skill will complement that. So even though it's not a regular occurrence or thing for Sirius, it could also make people assume that he also plays the clutch just to uh, improve his uh, variety of his uh, champion pool. Going into Molten, though, we know how good Strong Sage is with that scale, especially on Molten. It is something you've got to be extremely weary of. But on Awoken, pretty standard with the Athena and the Doom, and I think that's a, a good ban coming up from Strong Sage with the uh, next ban. I feel like we can agree that the clutch pick was just to take it away from Strong Sage, right? Unless yeah, Sirius has yeah, something absolutely. crazy under, uh, you know, up his sleeve, so to speak. He didn't really get the first ban, so he didn't want to deal with it. I understand it. It'll be very interesting to see exactly how Vale goes. We saw Anarchy on Vale previously didn't really work out, wondering how Strong Sage is going to approach that. As you mentioned, the scale, Strong Sage, no stranger to scale. I'm sure Wheat's throwing up somewhere, but <laughs> dropping that shoulder, getting the bull rush, getting a little weird with it with the intergalactic warlord could be in his favor. And then Awoken, I do like Athena versus Doom. I think uh, all things considered, that might be a little even, but I don't think I've seen Sirius play Athena a ton. But it doesn't matter. Nothing matters about what I think. Lethal, what do you think prediction-wise between these two? 
It's actually going to be quite tough. As long as Sirius is quite level-headed with his mental fortitude in this matchup, it could go either way. I would probably give an edge to Song, uh, Strong Sage going into this one. Even with the Anarchy versus the Clutch, I'm not too sure how that's going to go. Depends how good his Anarchy is. It can be quite good against the Clutch, but with the Veil and the playstyle Sirius may show with the Clutch, it's going to be an extremely tough ask in itself. I think it would be a 2-1 to Strong Sage, though. 2-1 to Strong Sage? I'm going to go 4-8 I'm... this time. Okay, I'm going to be different and go 2-1 Sirius then, because oh, I don't like what, yeah. okay. I just have to be contradictory. Um... Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's a bit of a toss-up in my opinion. The clutch pick, super interesting on Sirius. Can't wait to get into the first map and see exactly how he plays it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an important game for both players. Looking forward to seeing exactly how it shakes out. Um, and I'm just, honestly, Sirius, just that LG, like, Strong Sage probably knows by now, like, don't mess with his LG. We'll see. Usually we're used to seeing Sirius have two of them. That pick didn't come out this time opted for no BJ, which is weird to a lot of people in chat too, I'm sure. But yeah, Clutch, looking forward to it. Always love to see it. So yeah, we'll see what the series see has in store for us. Love to see it as always. I don't know if it comes to match scoreline or points, but if it does come to points, then Strong Sage only need to win one of these maps and that's it. If it does come to matches, then it means series does have a chance to make it I'm through. Not even... You know if you're I'm gonna, not even you know going to pretend gonna... to know. Yeah, no, I won't. It's like the SATs. I was like, what do I do? Where do I put my... I don't understand. What is this? Like, I don't know. Just fill out the bubbles and pray. Like, that's that's my strategy. It's I the could just be Lions making this way. stuff up, though. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Again, maybe. pattern recognition. I can't even read. So <laughs> we're just trying. Can you read this, numbers, maybe? The names look like what I think they do. Like, Strong Sage has the longest name, I think. So that's how I could tell. Anyways, map number one going live here. <laughs> <laughs> Third series of the day, <laughs> series versus Strong Sage, week 18 of the Quake Pro League. All right, let's see, let's see what series can do with this clutch here. Not something we're normally used to, but adds a bit of variety into a champion pool if need be at QuakeCon. Got a shield ready to use, but let's see how he does. Is he still got that height advantage? Just staying with him to go for the TP at some point. Finds him. Not going to use the shield as of yet. Just waiting for that Mega, but Heavy is going to come up as well shortly. Oh, what a great <laughs> rocket as well. It comes in with the shield straight away. Damn, Finn's going for that Heavy. Doesn't get it, but it does mean that he has the opportunity to maybe go for this Mega, depending on how good these rockets are. But yeah, he has backed away a little bit just in case. Good LG, though, coming out for both players. And Strong Sage wanted to try and aggress, knowing the shield was down, but it cost him a frag. But now, overall, it all works out as he does have the Mega to fall back on. So good play from Strong Sage, knowing that the shield was down, trying to take advantage of it. Again, a bit of a connoisseur with Clutch, so he knows exactly the pain points of playing Clutch. And now he's got good positioning to deal with this heavy, but the shield is back up for Sirius. Yeah, took the words right out of my mouth there. I was just about to say that, of course, he plays a lot of Clutch. He's played a, a Clutch a few times on this map, so knows the strengths and weaknesses on how to try and perform against the Clutch as well. Great stuff coming up from Strong Stage. Ties this up to a piece during this minute and a half segment of this game. Mega is still up, and it's going to delay it a little bit longer here. It does have the Inject ready and waiting for him as well. Oh, good rockets there. Strong Sage doesn't use the inject, uses it off of spawn and actually grabs an LG. That could be pivotal here as he's going to drop right onto that clutch, knowing again that the shield is down. Sirius trying to dance all day. He's going to get pushed into the LG and just the tickle is all Strong Sage needed to tie it at three. And yes, do not adjust your computer monitors. Sirius is on the clutch. There is no typo here. Very interesting to see indeed. Great rail from Strong Sage. As he hits that and falls back. No major item for 23 seconds. So it's just going to be a bit of a skirmish. Slow play from both players. Maybe some light pickups. But Strong Sage doing a good job patrolling the upper area. He's going to drop. Get a great rail in the Thunderdome. Maybe another one. Serious. Oh boy. Big boy hits the walls, but somehow avoids taking another rail. Yeah, he's a beefy lad, and Strong Sage. Put some good pressure on to Sirius at the moment. Good rail as he's just rotating back around. Good shot once again. Mega's still up, mind you. Just leaving it there for the time being. He's going to rotate all the way back around just to try and prioritize the kill, but just a, a little bit too late there, but that's fine. He's got the light and the Mega to work with, and now he's still got the inject. If he gets into a spot of bother, 
in this next engagement. Wow. Juice it up, baby. Nice rail, strong sage needs to be careful, does grab the health to get out of rail range. And can tank one to grab this heavy. Sirius in a bad way now, dodges but can't get out. And now the problem is the items are all strong sages. Big split, has the timing, picks him up after the fights, and this is exactly what you don't want if you're serious. Good flick rocket though. Shots like that will keep him in it. Nice, easy rail for Strong Sage. Almost gets another one in the Thunderdome as Ceres trying to press on for this heavy. Great rockets in the rail, and again, the mechanics shining through for Ceres. Four to four. He's got the stack, and he's still got the shield as well. He's going to pop that shield early. He's now going to push it on forwards just to grab that mega. I think he was doing effects to ensure it's not taking too much damage along the way in case he was hiding around the TP, but by the time it went through, Strong Sage pulled back instantly. So now we've got five seconds until this heavy comes up. So this is in a extremely beneficial position. Just going to drop for it, but may even was considering to prioritize the frag instead to see if he can get an angle. But waiting for him to miss that one initial rail. But he gets one for his own anyway. This could be a we know of opportunity here for Sirius. Shield up in 10. Very, very patient from Sirius here, adding a huge split to the items. If he waits long enough, they're just going to be all synced up again. Does take a rail and finally decides, you know what? It's fine. I feel fine. But I do like the patience from Sirius. Not really forcing anything, knowing that he's a gigantic target, and that gives him a bit of a disadvantage. Just have shield back up. This is with the initial rail, but trying to fight for this heavy, strong sage, good positioning and deal, at least deal damage. Missing with the initial rail. Does hit a couple, but here comes the chase. And with the shield up, strong sage knows he has to get out of there. So this is a good, good display from Sirius. Not exactly what we may have expected. A pretty solid clutch play overall so far. Yeah, quite surprised actually, and he's hitting all his shots as well, just complementing the speed and pace that Clutch can bring if he just wants to try and get involved with his oh, no. scuffles here, but he misses out on the heavy, but Sirius is so weak, he hasn't got any rounds left to his name, he's only got one rocket as well, and of course switch back to the rail, didn't have any ammo left. It does mean that Strong Sage has retained the lead. Mega's up now as well, just to make matters a little bit worse, but he's trying to build up his hourglass to get that shield back, but... Look at the difference now in terms of stack. Just a matter of time, really, before he claims that sick frag. Four minutes left as Sirius still has plenty of time, but just got caught with his trousers down on the spawn. And just like that now, free frag, frag deficit for Strong Sage to try and at least maintain. And for Sirius to clutch back up from as the shield comes up again. But goodness gracious me, the rail's wow. coming out from Strong Sage. That is brutal. Oh no, nice. Strong Sage gets knocked down, but Stars. jump pad. Oh no, that is terrible. Horrible what just happened. But Strong Sage taking a huge lead right now, given clutch and oil change. Elbow deep, lethal. Unfortunately for Sirius right now. There's the mega pickup. Melts it right off with that LG. Yeah, three minutes left. Shields up in just a couple of seconds here for Sirius. Good rail. Popping over the jump pad to see if he can at least punish him, but it's back to way once again. Mega's up in five, Heavy's up in ten. Strong say just finding his time for now. He can waste as much time as he likes. He's got the mobility, but and again, the clutch does have to speed, so he needs to be a bit wary of how he's going to position himself as Sirius does find him. Doesn't get the heavy, but this is going to be big. For Sirius now to try and punish him, but again, just Strong Sage doing a playing ring around the rosy a little bit, just keeping his distance, which is exactly what he needs to do, and just fight on his terms, not the other way around. Yeah, and we saw a bit of a movement flub earlier from Sirius on that same thing, dodging the heavy instead of picking it up. So both players playing a little bit shaky here. Sirius with great rockets into the rail, and again, his aim is bailing him out right now. Maybe not so much the mechanics of clutch, 
a little clumsy, but still only down four, two minutes left. The pressure is on, but it's not impossible. He's just got to play a little more solid. There's a great rail from Strong Sage, shotgun around the churro and straight to the hood. Nine to four and a rail off the spawn to try and get through some of the stack shield up momentarily. And it's going to be go time here shortly for Sirius. He's got to put pedal to the metal and just start dashing lethal. Oh, oh the LG shield came out a little bit late. He has picked up the Mega, so he can continue this engagement, but a minute and a half left remaining, and the way Strong Sage is contributing in this game is looking highly unlikely now. In terms of items, 16 items for Sirius, 14 for Strong Sage, 65% rail accuracy, and 44% LG coming out from Strong Sage as well. And speaking of the rail, nearly 2,400 damage. Very rail heavy coming out from Strong Sage this time around. Yeah. Uh, one minute left, five frags. I think this one's pretty much toast, but not a terrible performance from Sirius. I understand taking the clutch pick away from Strong Sage. He almost made it work, but it's not that easy. I mean, Clutch is not an easy champion to play. The movement, very unique, and also just being a gigantic. Trying to navigate an Astro Van through the halls of Vale of Noth is not easy at all. As uh, some more point blank shotguns from both, <laughs> both players. With a pump and dump right there. Nine to five, 30 seconds. And yeah, Strong Sage is gonna be able to take this one. I wouldn't say completely easily, uh, but once he got some momentum going, you saw a burst of about two to three frags there, which really opened it up. And again, movement it, errors from both players in terms of at least along the heavy. So both players have a little bit of stuff to clean up here. I would give a little more leeway to Sirius as I don't think he plays clutch a lot. I do think it was just a pick to take it away and out of Strong Sage's hands. So overall, not, not awful. Yeah, I agree. I, it definitely was a pick to take it away because you kind of know that in terms of the uh, track record coming out from Strong Sage, he has used cut quite a lot on Vale and sometimes on the Waken, so that doesn't really surprise us too much in the slightest. Just over 2,500 damage with the rail, just over 1,800 to the LG, 64% and 44%. But Sirius had a, you know, a few more items in control, but of course, the experience may not have helped him massively with the clutch. But it's nice to see something a little bit different, and I think it's more important for him to do it in a tournament environment, so at least that way he knows kind of what to expect and what to improve on, because you never know with QuakeCon. If he gets those, after those best of threes, goes to those best of fives, and, you know, you, you need to have a wide, wide, varied champ pool, then at least that way people may assume that he could whip out the clutch randomly out of the blue. <laughs> if people pick clutch over keel and best of fives, I will lose my shit, <laughs> lethal. But that's fine. You're right. It might happen. It might happen. And yeah, again, last week uh, of regulation, you're probably going to try some things. I would leave it up to the scrims because I do think that Sirius is in that kind of sweet spot where he might be able to break into the top eight or not. I don't know how the leaderboard works anymore. I've given up completely. But Strong Sage, 10 to 5 on map number one, able to take this one. We're going to load up for map number two. It's going to be Molten Falls. Sirius is going to have the Strog. Strong Sage coming out thick with that scale bearer, Ooh. dropping the shoulder into Buckshot. We're going to see a lot of that. Wheat somewhere vomiting into a bucket. Hates the thought of it, but it's going to Happen. I'm sorry. He's, I'm sure he's got like 10 scale dolls and all that stuff around his house. He must do. He's probably just lying to you. Yeah. He's a bit, I think he's said confirmed, and we can confirm later when he's on for the featured game. I think he's going to cosplay Scale Bear at QuakeCon. So, yeah. Very oh, okay. exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I can't wait to see it as well. <laughs> Props to Wheat for doing that <laughs> when we see him on Sunday. I'm sure he'll uh, <laughs> whip it out for us on the desk. I'm absolutely certain I of it. I hope he does. If he does, do you know what? That's already my weekend made. I don't need to come back for the other days. It's fine. But going over back to the leaderboard, um, because Strong Sage managed to win that one initial map, it means that he will be uh, ahead of Avic and Dramus. But of course, if it does depend on the series score, then series may even end up with a chance. So we'll have to see. Like I said before, we're not going to go into it too much, but it does mean that he will be technically ahead of Avic and Dramis nonetheless. So it gives him a more an improved chance. But if he takes a series, then it's pretty much guaranteed at this stage. I trust you. I don't know what I'm doing. So don't yeah. trust me, please. Because don't Reading quite and me math. Whew, I tell you what, I'm going to stay away from that. But we're not <laughs> going to stay away from his map number two as we are loading up the players and it should be a good one. Again, Strog versus Scale. Scale's gonna be thick, throwing around his weight, literally. Uh, interested to see how 
serious approach as this one with the Strog. Again, more mobility. That first map was just to take away Clutch and get it out of Strong Sage's hands. This is going to be more comfort and um, more familiarity for Sirius on the Strog. And we are live on map number two for week 18 of the Great Pro League between the Sirius and Strong Sage. We're going to start things off with Sirius. See what shenanigans he's up to. Gets DLG. Mega very heavily delayed by 16 seconds. Already the timing massively segregated. Sirius knows that he's probably directly above him, so it's going to change position, see if he gets a rail angle. Doesn't find him, but Strong Sage is just binding his time. And then, you know, I've been watching a lot of scrims over the last couple of weeks, and Strong Sage is so annoying with scale on this map. Like, ridiculous, ridiculously yeah. annoying to such a high degree but that's what makes him so great but it's also fantastic to see Sirius playing with one hand and just showing his display of you know <laughs> just yes. master class of quake being able to do all of that one-handed so <laughs> fantastic from Sirius. but yes strong sage you're looking to lay on of the damage and this could be huge and somehow what okay it doesn't matter maybe that's why weed always hates on scale it's fine i feel fine bull rush doesn't work Sirius gets away with murder on that one doing good damage stacks about equal after all of that but knowing the bull rush is down that's going to give Sirius a little bit more confidence in terms of close engagements yeah it's incredible you can play one handed you are right don't know what he's doing with the other one but as he's continuing on forward minute three in still zero piece Sirius has the position and the stack if he's up in 10 though it's going to be back in a way but rotating back around says he hasn't really got a stack to continue working with just pick up that light just to give him a little bit of hope in this next engagement just trying to work out where he's gone he knows he's going to run that rail area just trying to see if he goes for that tp or not but of course he's not looking to contest the mega either just trying to throw some audio cues about here and there throw strong sage off guard and yeah, we're we expecting Sirius to try and find him momentarily. But Strong Sage doing a good job here, just waiting for that initial chip damage, but hasn't really had the angles as of yet. Yeah, 210 in, no frag on the board. You really got to hand it to Sirius there, playing good defense, not getting caught up in the aggression that can be scaled. Oh, look at that. Directly above him. Strong Sage just waiting for that initial chip and just hasn't had the opportunity yet. Just playing Ring Around the Rosie for a little while longer until he finds a weakness in Sirius's rotation. But perfectly understandable. A very slow start with Sirius dictating the pace here, but Strong Sage having to continuously back away until he feels the moment's right for we, when the moment's right. Yeah, just waiting, biding his time until he can get the upper hand as Strong Sage grabs another Mega. No rush, Lethal. No rush to get close to that intergalactic warlord, even though he does lead the way. Heavy's up in 10. Strong Sage does have his bull rush, and he's doing pretty much what he does in the scrims as well. Like, if he, at some point, Sirius does make the wrong rotation, that bull rush rocket straight afterwards is going to do so much damage, and he's going to be able to continue piling on the pressure and create that role reversal for the item control. But it seems like Sirius just isn't falling for it. He's obviously taken note of the mischief that Strong Sage likes to do. Heavy's up, but both players are literally walking towards it, does manage to grab it. Bull rush is away, but now the stack's a little bit more even. He can try and contest this Mega as he sees fit, but it seems like it's not going to be the case. It's now Sirius that actually man manages to bag that himself. A really nice direct rocket before the heavy pickup, but again, Sirius in no rush to get into a skirmish. Wants to play this nice and slow, doesn't want to get caught off guard. Strong Sage does have Bull Rush back already. Sirius might not expect that. Does hear the portal, though. Luckily for him, kind of has an idea of where Strong Sage may attack from. There's the drop down, but again, neither player wants to fully commit. Good rail on the way out. Circulating back around again. Mega is available. He hears him. Just daring for him to push on forward first, but it's funny. Sirius is just not falling for any one of these traps at all. He knows he's got a large stack, but... 
it's not exactly enough to go crazy with as we're approaching the five minute mark and the strong sage has been very very patient in the last five minutes just hoping to have that opportunity to do it does best with this bull rush and I'm sure a few of us have witnessed the uh the mischief that Strong said normally has with this scale on Molten Falls. Good rocket though, this is the initial point on no return, oh, and it's no. gonna be a suicide minus one to zero. You gotta hand it to Strong Sage. Caught him out in the corner and made serious frag serious. So one frag lead, and this is gonna be a little bit more here. Good LG in the air, but doesn't even matter. Strong Sage able to grab that frag before the heavy. Decent split on the item, so he should be able to get positioning on this mega. That rail does open things up and make things a little more interesting for Sirius now. And Strong Sage looking to concede as he goes back to the light, gaining that momentum with the Intergalactic Warlord. Little mouse shake here and there, gain some speed, some ups. Why not, Lethal? Yeah, go and treat yourself. Why not? Ooh, four minutes left. Two frag deficit for Sirius to try and claw his way back from. If Strong Sage wins this map, then it's pretty much guaranteed anyway that he will be in the top eight. So expect a lot of running away at some point if he does <laughs> not have the stack advantage. But Mega's up. Maybe won't be for another 15 seconds. Let's look at the item control. Seven for Strong Sage, 14 for Sirius. And no LG used at all from Strong Sage. Just looking for his rocket shotgun because with that ball rush, does get railed. In the meantime, back away as fast as humanly possible. And yeah, this bull rush to not only be a pain, but also the damage takes him down anyway, but also to claim those items and go away. And that's going to be a heavy for Strong Sage now up by three frags. Make that, <laughs> make that oh four God. frags. <laughs> I... Uh... That is just ass. Like I told that. you, man. He's what do annoying. you do? You <laughs> ran into a brick wall, quite <laughs> literally. There's nothing oh. that Sirius could have done. His scale's annoying on Molten, man. Honestly, probably one of the most annoying scale players on Molten. I think he definitely has the uh, the dub on that one. Gosh, it's so <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, man. The question's going to be... Our save is going to come back. Still got a little bit of time left. Does have the mobility and speed he requires to bring this back. Has the stack now, but just needs to be cautious on Strong Sage's traps and his whereabouts as he's looking to make that initial drop and doesn't catch him. But if he hasn't been able to for the last seven and a half minutes, then when's it going to be? That's going to be the next question. Does have that peaker to use as he sees fit, but Strong Sage is looking to waste time and waiting for the opportunity to arise once again. Yeah, I mean, obviously don't want to get caught out in the middle of a fight against a wall, no less. But, oh, big rockets, and oh my god, get the bucket. Sirius with direct rockets, absolutely melts scale. Sending in the peeker, knowing exactly where Strong Sage is, a little tap on the cheeks, why not? Less than two minutes, two frags. Sirius looks uh, a little more lively now. Perfect timing on the heavy as well. As the hunt is on. Yeah, he's looking a lot more comfortable compared to what we witnessed over the last seven minutes. Wait for the next mega. Looks like Strong Sage not going to be jumping down that rail jump pad to try and get a cheeky rail. Just backing away, playing the runaway game. Sirius is looking to try and make use of that. That rail would have been so important, but as you can see, it does have that peaker also, but I don't think we'll be seeing that too often unless things get a little bit hairy in the long run. Mega up in 10. Sirius still has the stack. But the real question is, how is Sirius going to be able to punish him and put a stop to it? We'll be able to find him, no? Good rocket from Strong Sage to try and do some additional damage here. Ah, oh, it doesn't get the rail. Some of these rails would have been so important and to try and get that initial frag. Yeah, this is just pure frustration. I mean, it's just a game of chase right now. Scale pretty fast. Might be able to get him on the jump pad. Nope, not quick enough. And actually pops the peeker to try and close the distance. He's <laughs> okay. gone. He's gone. Hey! <laughs> that's one way to do it. I believe we call that ninja vanish in the industry. I'm not sure. It's like I not said, frustrated man. at all. 
That was a tactical disconnect. That's what that was. So Strong Sage wins. Okay. Uh, he takes <laughs> two maps in a row, and Sirius never wants to deal with that again. Confirmed. Okay. Yeah, it's like I said before, his scale is... If you can combine every annoying and most frustrating thing combined, that's probably what it is. Yeah. 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 It's well, rough. I don't know. I don't know. Kept it close. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to a certain point, he did. He, no, no, to be fair, he did at one point, and then it just, yeah, it just happened all. Happened again, didn't it? Which was a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, in the end, it does mean that Strong Sage now up 2-0. to zero. It should also confirm that he's got a spot in the top eight, but... Goodness gracious me, that was uh, one way to end it. Just fight. That just shows the patience from, of course, Strong Sage there. Like, waiting for five minutes in the nicks and crannies of every little area, just waiting to use that bull rush shotgun or rocket combination. It happened twice. And when it does happen and you've got that stack, it's just really frustrating <laughs> that to one deal specifically. with. And you see him just skipping away oh super quick. <laughs> but like I said, it's annoying. It really is. Can't say it enough. That was gorgeous, though. Put that in the top 10. That was fantastic. Big rockets. But third map, loading up soon, Athena versus Doom. Still an opportunity, I think. I don't know. I don't know how leaderboards work. Again, I can't stress that enough. Can't read. But Strong Sage <laughs> takes the series. As we take a look at the map scores from one and two. And again, that is not a typo. Series picked the clutch to try and take it away from Strong Sage. Strong Sage still overcame that barrier with the Anarchy on Veil. Put up the dubs, has the set series win, looking for three in a row, and we will find out shortly if he has what it takes. Yeah, certainly could do the Athena, of course, versus the Doom, some, something in terms of a little bit more normality here, but I want to see what Sirius can do and try and reset his mental fortitude after that one, because it is frustrating, it's annoying. We know that on Molten Falls it can be uh, a little bit scary when they're in that kind of position. Normally, if it gets a slash or something like that with the mobility and speed and how agile they can be, yeah, it's uh, it can be even worse, but... You can see from Strong Sage, he makes the scale work super, super good. And it just takes a lot of patience, which he clearly had, to set those traps. And we know that it was a very slow, uh, snail-paced game. But again, it's kind of like a game of chess at the end of the day. It did take quite a while, but got there in the end and uh, managed to, to pull it off once more, which was uh, lovely to see. But now he's up 2-0. to He might as well go for the 3-0 uh, clean sweep if he can. But for Sirius to try and claim a map back, not too sure. Go on. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Let's take a peek at the lobby chat. Have a laugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, life is like a game of chess. I don't know how to play. Um, but yes, we're going to get into map number three shortly. <laughs> I don't know if you <laughs> took a look at that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that gives you a little insight into what's going down. But map number three is going down, chat. Hang in there. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Or evening, maybe. I don't know. Uh, map number three, shortly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. You don't need to say anything more, <laughs> mate. Sorry, chat got I was me just like, reading. Wow. Yeah, the lobby chat kind of threw me off massively. But yeah, it looks so okay. strong. You just have be. to subscribe to the Quake Champions uh, Quake Pro League Patreon, and that's where you get the insider info chat. So it's only $300,000 a month. But Athena versus Doom coming up live. Map number three between these two. And again, Sirius does have to try and win, I think, based on some some sort of math. Maybe it matters. I don't think so anymore, but yeah, whatever. He's done. Somebody who, yeah, somebody who's smart can figure it out. I figured out that we're going into map number three now. Nice. Let's do it. Yeah, map number three, of course, 2 0 advantage here to Strong Say, looking to make it a 3 0 clean sweep if he can, starting from Sirius's perspective. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing Sirius can do or could do anyway. But the Berserk mode comes out from Strong Sage. Getting the old fisty cuffs out here, boy. Yeah, yeah. He was elbow deep earlier. Looks to uh, keep that kind of pressure on as he's up one early. Blink of an eye. Missing with some of those rockets, giving Sirius a bit of a lifeline now as he does grab that light. He's trying to make his way onto some weaponry. Good rail there from Strong Sage. Water balloons. No connection on that one, unfortunately. But one of the best skins in the game, hands down. A little bit of LG to try and create some space. Doesn't land with anything, but does get the item. Sirius reminding Strong Sage he's got an LG of his own. Doing some decent damage there. But still no armor to, to the name of Sirius right now. Needs to be careful, and right when I say that, grabs the T-Con armor, and that's going to help just a little bit. Just a tad, just a tad. Just a skosh, a pinch, a hint. Mega's up, mind you. 
It's going to catch him. Actually, he could call himself cool there, but he'll be OK. He'll be all right for now. Strong Sage is waiting to see what Sirius wanted to do. Back to way towards the heavy. Good rocket, mind you. Not a huge amount of damage, but feed the info he needs in order to reposition himself. But the light is just staring at him in his face, and there's going to be a trade between the two. That's going to be a little bit chaotic there around the tee. Mega's up in five. Does have the rockets, mind you, to cover that choke point. Yeah, he uses the Berserk to grab everything off the spawn that was left in T-Con and control the Mega. He is going to have to concede heavy, but might be able to do some damage on the way out. Ops to just go back to T-Con and maybe get Rail. Which, I mean, Strong Sage pretty good with a Rail Gun. Not too shabby. Against an Athena, it's going to be harder to land the shots, but we'll see what he has in store as he gets back to T-Con. Nine seconds until the Mega a little bit early. Sirius wants to bring the fight to him, hooks up, but now that's going to be an easy one as he gets caught up the jump pad. I don't think he had a hook to misdirect on that. I'm not really sure. Does use one now. Good rockets. The double jump won't save Strong Sage. Temporarily does, but good damage. Sirius has to be careful off the spawn. Yeah, that was very creative from Sirius. And to do that with the stack he had before that engagement, that was unreal. He just able to output so much more, but he's still weak from that previous engagement. He is able to get away, but 50-50 circumstances here. And you can see Strong Sage chose the right way. He's in that berserk to get the Mega to collect all the weapons in his arsenal again and also approach that heavy. This is looking very good now for Strong Sage in terms of stack and item control. But in the next 20 seconds, he will be able to pick up the Mega, not the heavy straight away, but at least he can contest it and put pressure onto Sirius afterwards. But he can manipulate the timings a little bit more straight afterwards. Four to one now in favor of Strong Sage. And Sirius running out of ideas a little bit here. And a bit of a hard place for now, 40. Not looking too good. Yeah, a little bit careless there on that LG push. That was an easy kill for Strong Sage. Sirius has to try and keep it together here. Does eat a rail, jumping towards the telly. Might get caught out here in Banana. Good rail. And now he's stuck, has to hit one more. Oh, can't do it, gets melted. Another one off the spawn. Strong Sage, woo! <laughs> okay! Well, that happens. And machine gun damage and the rocket straight afterwards to the shotgun. Strong Sage now making it 7 to 1 on 69 HP, which is pretty nice. Even nicer dodging that last rocket, or else he would have all been doom and gloom. It's another great way. He's looking for the second. Uh -huh. What a great uh -huh. rail from Strong bucket. Sage. Goodness Give me. The bucket. me. Lethal, please. Here you go. <laughs> you feeling better now? I bet you feel yeah, better after yeah. that. I'm all, right, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I just needed a second. Eight to one. Strong Sage just looks great. Fantastic flick rails. A little bit of swagger. Going berserk in all the right ways and forcing Sirius to reassess the situation. Come up with a new game plan here. Yeah, he's looking fabulous at the moment as we're just approaching the halfway point. And it makes me wonder that he, he was... Mind about him getting top eight or not? He could even come seventh, depending on the circumstance between Ooh. Nosfer and Rafa later on. And that was a great way to get that second frag, but still got plenty of time. And this is pretty good from Sirius. He's now made it a five frag deficit, picked up the heavy, items are segregated, enough for him to contest both. He's on that T-Con now pushing up towards that tri but the only problem is now he's already managed to get away. And Sirius got a little bit of momentum behind him after those previous couple of frags. It's a little bit of LG damage. It's going to be flying on in, but got caught a tiny bit from Strong Sage's LG. Good rocket, so going to be clean up with the LG. Great stuff from Sirius. Now making it four left to mail to tie this game. Oh my oh. god, that rocket was huge. And uh, I think, suffice to say, Sirius has awoken as he is making it interesting, does unfortunately miss that hook to rail to try and cut off Mega. It's a bit early anyway. He's gonna go up the jump pad. That's free damage for Strong Sage. Didn't have another hook to try and misdirect. That one might cost him here. Jumping right back in, decent damage. Needs to land a little more rocket damage, but at least bully Strong Sage off of the Mega. Claims it as his own, so still very much in this. Five frags down. 
Looking to catch fire at the right time to try and take at least this map, Lethal. He's trying, mate. He's trying, but with these defensive rockets, it's given a little faith over the course of time. Mega's up in five. In the position for it to at least do a fair amount of damage, but good damage coming out from Strong Sage in comparison. And picks up the Mega. Heavy's up in ten. Good position, but. And I love that as well. With the rail combo straight after the LG. Free Heavy now for Strong Sage. Nice rail from Strong Sage, and Sirius just has to go all in, and oh, Strong Sage makes it a highlight reel with the Berserk punching for the frag. You don't really see that a lot too much anymore. And Sirius just has to push in on this heavy, try and make something happen. A lot of LG coming out from Strong Sage, easy. Avoids the damage as well. There's a free heavy behind him, and he could just lay it on with that stack, because he didn't really take a lot of damage. There's the float straight to the heavens. Sirius riding the lightning a tiny bit, and it's all gone horribly wrong. So it has been called the LG with his trousers down once again as he was flying past, but yeah, 15 to 4, definitely the final nail in the coffin now. Doing some additional work with the LG, and speaking of LG, let's have a look at the percentages. Sirius still with 55% LG, mind you, 70% rail, but Strong Sage 80% with the rail, 80. On it's a lot. Yeah. It's a whole bunch. It's a big number, I think. Oh, oh. my god, make it stop. Well. Oh no, not again. I was gonna say, we haven't seen any fisty cuffs at all, as you mentioned. We've had two almost three this game. Serious does punish him though. Yeah, he's like, stop that nonsense right now. Right meow. <laughs> Heavy. Is that mind you? Oh, what a mid-air as well. And doesn't stop him going for the heavy strong stage. He's still able to win that little scuffle with three HP left remaining. Mega's up in 10. 90 seconds left until. Oh, oh my god. god. That drive-by for me. When are we going to get the insta-give show match between all the players in the Quake Pro League? Insane. I put like four dollars into the prize pool for that. A series drops down with some buckshot, <laughs> adds another frag, but he has like one HP, maybe hanging on by a thread. Twenty to seven with a minute left, and chat is going ballistic as they know Sirius is gonna clap back and bring this back to sudden death. Yeah, he definitely will. Very high probability of I'm sure. Megas up, but Sirius is. Uh, I don't know. He was having a little bit of a think. You know when you go to the park and just have a have a little think and just think about just life stare in general. Stare out into the water and yeah. contemplate walking into the water with your mouth open. No, I've yeah. never done that, Lethal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Twenty-one to seven. No signs of stopping. There's the jump over, a little bit dangerous, but Strong Sage can't convert with the rail, and now it's just an instant get battle. Punches, more punches. Oh no. Just continuing being oh. annoying. Ooh, the rocket row, 9 HP, is able to stay alive, misses the rail, serious cleans up, machine gun. But the damage has already been done for you. 22 to 8, that's going to be it. It's going to be a 3 0 for Strong Sage and should confirm his place in the top 8. We'll have it all confirmed later on. But still, good stuff from uh, Strong Sage. Played uh, extremely well, adapted a little bit better and was uh, able to comply with everything he wanted to do in terms of his traps and his adaptation there. So pretty damn good stuff. And still the hit percentages from Sirius is still unreal. 54 LG and 66 with the rail. But for Strong Sage though, even against the Athena, 64% with that rail as well. Not bad. The biggest damage, probably emotional. Strong Sage <laughs> able to take that 3-0. Uh, unfortunate there. You could see the frustration from Sirius, uh, but that's the way that season's gonna end for both those players. So, shouts to Strong Sage, ending a, I would say, pretty fantastic uh, rookie year. Sirius, again, had a pretty good year as well, not the way you want to end it, of course, but uh, we'll see exactly how everything shakes out leaderboard-wise later, because I just can't do math. Again, I will never shut up about that chat. Deal with it. We take a look at the highlights. And yeah, I mean, glaring issues here, Lethal, that you could uh, pinpoint, I mean, it just seemed like a lot of it was frustration-based pushing 
little careless on some of the positioning from Sirius and Strong Sage just hit some great rails. Don't get me wrong, but a lot of it was kind of just tossed up to him. It felt like. Yeah, Sirius's aim skill was was there, of course, but you could see that Strong Sage had quite a long-term game plan with a lot of most maps. Molten Falls was a good example of that. So as I mentioned earlier, with the scale is. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of scrims and, you know, Strong Sage plays relatively the same as what he did in the scrims compared to this match in a, in a tournament setting. And for Sirius, he was playing well. Like, even though it was 0, zero for quite a long time, he wasn't falling for a lot of the shenanigans Strong Sage was trying to uh, comply with. But, yeah, frustration it could be a key word. The first map, I'll kind of write it off a little bit because we know how inexperienced Sirius is on the clutch, but I would probably say more Sirius made that pick as it is the final week going into Quake Pro League just to try and test it out, test the waters a little bit, but also just to say to everyone, you know, I may have a clutch pick, you know, in my back pocket going into the somebody's best of threes or best of five going into QuakeCon, just to give everyone like that fresh thought that he may just pull it out out of nowhere. But even if he doesn't plan to use it at all, it's just playing those mind games really. But yeah, the zero to two for Modern Falls, I kind of expected Strong Sage to come out on top on that one if he uh, gets that early lead, but that working game was uh, pretty crazy. I didn't expect such a huge scoreline, but it is what it is. Um, Sirius didn't really have anything to gain from it. It's really mainly for Strong Sage. It was all to, uh, all to play for and we'll to see how much difference that will make uh, going into next month. Yep, Strong Sage didn't pull any punches, but that's the end of our third set of the day. We have two more, one of which is a featured match. We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to get into Sib versus Chain. Don't go too far. We'll be back. <laughs> 